Hey guys, today we are in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, standing in front of the Dobbin House. This is the oldest building in the town. Now we've eaten here before, but today we're back for lunch. So we're pretty excited to head in here and you guys are coming with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. This is a historic plaque in front of the building showing you what the Dobbin House used to look like. Let's do a quick history of this house. This house was built in 1776 by Reverend Alexander Dobbin. And Lincoln gave his speech right up over the hill in the cemetery, so you could probably see that speech right here. The Gettysburg Address it was used as a school, first of its kind, in the United States. Now, the Reverend had 10 children from his marriage, and his new wife had nine. So 19 kids lived in that house, Bobby. How'd you like to deal with that? No, that's way too many kids. So you figured with them, and maybe, I don't know if they had any maids or anything. There's 20-some people in there. It's a lot. It was used as an underground railroad. And after the battle, it was also used as a hospital to take care of North and South. The restaurant has been featured in different magazines and that store directly in front of you, you love that place, don't you? Some nice things in there. Yeah, I'm going to be headed in there pretty soon. Check some things out. Now, in the 50s, this place was a diorama. And that's like miniature soldiers. which kind of shows you the battle. It's, it's pretty neat, like models. So they had that up until 1977 when all the other businesses kind of opened up around Gettysburg and it couldn't survive. So they closed it up and the new owners restored it back to a house and put a restaurant in it. Now it was uh, eight inches, a kind of a beam that was holding it up. They had to raise it eight inches higher. And there's like natural springs under here. So they dug all that out and there's a spring house tavern. That's where we're gonna go eat today. And this place opened in 1978. It's a beautiful home, isn't it? It is. It's in great shape too for being that old. Nice fireplace. Through that door over there is how you get down to the spring tavern. Here's your gift shop to the right. A lot of nice things in there. And straight back through here, there's a banquet area. Looks like they're setting up for something right now. Pretty cool. Just have a quick peek. Buffet. There's a couple fireplaces in here. Hold a lot of people. Spring Great atmosphere in here with the candlelight on each one of the tables. There's Bobby sitting back in there and they're dressed in the period. Nice bar. Nice and cool down here too. Your drinks, soup of the day. Now we're going to try the baked king onion soup. It's their most popular thing they have here. It's made with beef and a variety of cheeses. Some appetizers, broiled crab cake, shrimp cocktail, some entree salads, spinach, 
Springhouse spread and the Caesars. There's their sandwiches. They're served with coleslaw, potato salad, or potato chips. Bobby's going to get the marinated chicken, and I'm going to try the crab cake. Let's have a Reuben and some hamburgers. Black bean burger with pepper jack cheese. Here's the dinner menu. Comes with a salad with your choice of homemade house vinaigrette and other dressings. The baked potato or vegetable of the day and a dinner roll. It's a fresh catch of the day. Some shrimp, crab cakes, half a chicken, ribs, strip steak, New York strip. Our famous homemade desserts, apple pie, pecan pie, but this is the one. Warm colonial gingerbread with lemon sauce. Kids menu. There are their beverages. And there are their hours. There's the tavern daily special drink menu. You guys want to look over that? Those are featured spirits. Let's turn it over. Draft beer, beer and hard cider, house wine, some premium wines, and local wines. Brought out their specialty. Let's take a look. Look at all that cheese, Bobby. Mm -hmm. Provolone, Swiss, and Provolone. Three slices of cheese in there with one beef. That's because it's kind of like prime rib. Yeah. And some bread. And some bread and onions. Yeah, I wanted to show you. Look how pretty the plates are. It mm -hmm. is pretty. That bowl is very hot. <laughs> You're trying it first. Look at all that cheese. Wow. Let's pull that cheese up and just stretch it. Wow, that is hot. Pull it up, see how high you can stretch. Look at all that, guys. That is a lot of cheese in there. And a lot of steam coming out of that. I have to let it cool down a second. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's take a look at this. There you go. Well, Bobby, did you burn your mouth on the first bite? I was afraid I would. Just look at the steam coming off of that. Still coming off. There's some There's beef. The beef. They told us that sometimes you get lucky and you'll get a piece of meat. The broth is excellent. Now I've had other, I've had other uh, onion soup before. Nothing compares to this. How about the cheese? There's a the lot cheese, of cheese. The cheese is thick. The bread. This is a must try, John. This is this is excellent. Well, I'm gonna try it then. I'm gonna try it, guys. Thank you. That cheese really tastes good in there with that. It's thick, isn't it? With both of those cheeses. It's almost like eating an extra cheesy piece of pizza. With yeah. So much cheese. <laughs> with that broth, with the bread blending in with it, just gives it that extra taste in the beef. Guys, you guys see that at home? And there's a nice piece of beef. There we go, one more. Now, we only got one bowl of soup. I'm thinking we may have, yeah. should have gotten two of them. <laughs> Beef is so tender. Just, we were worried about getting this because we're not a big fan of the French onion soup. This doesn't even taste like onion soup. No, I'm thinking maybe because they use the different broth yeah. in the other places we've had. I can see why this is their specialty. We've seen people get it here. We've been here before. We never got it ourselves. I'm so glad we tried it today because we almost did. You can almost tear that with your fingers, guys. You can't get that out of there. People will yell at you about using your fingers. Don't yell at me because you'd be doing the same thing. We said this is onion soup. We found a big onion. Bobby's going to try it with that on there just to see how that is. I like the cooked onion. Though. That was a big piece of onion. It was. We weren't sure because I didn't taste a lot of onion with it at first, but we saw that one and I wanted you to try it. You like it. Now we were the first ones to get here and look how busy. Not one table is empty. And there's a few tables behind me, but it filled up quick. Bring out the meals covered. Keeps them hot. 
Never brought our meals to us. Potato salad, four ounce crab cake, brioche bun, pickle. Bobby, you got quite a bit there. Yeah, I got the open face Reuben sandwich. And some coleslaw. There's a lot of cheese and sauerkraut on there. That. That's on rye bread. Yeah. Okay, we'll try this coleslaw. I like it. It's got the uh, mayonnaise base. It's chopped up nice. A little paprika on top. Fresh. Yeah, paprika on top. Pretty good size pickle too on these meals. Yeah. Let's try it here. Well, this is on a rye bread. Corned beef. And she said it was um, cut thin. See that? Let's take a look. See yeah. it? Sorry, that focus is so dark here. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to focus because of the candles. Yeah, the candles are throwing this camera off. You taste the Thousand Island dressing on there. Sauerkraut. Just kind of pick Swiss up cheese. on that too when you get done. You can taste the Swiss what cheese. Is it? Kind of pick up on it and show us how much like sauerkraut you got oh, okay. underneath there. Let's go from this angle. There we go. Now I can really see the meat. Couldn't really see it from this side. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Look at all that. There's a lot. And with all that cheese on top. So. See, this is one of the specialties that people yeah, really Yeah, because you asked her. Eating. You were going to get what the chicken sandwich, chicken sandwich. She kind of talked yes. you into getting this. Yeah. I've never had an open face. You good? Yep. Everything's it's great. Excellent. Yeah, thanks. So, I would say... This is a great sandwich. If you want to, if you like Reuben, different way to try it. Yep. Let's look at the crab cake sandwich. Just tear it open, you guys can see it inside. There's a lot of crab meat in there. You see it? Pieces. It's four ounce steam coming off that. Brioche, lettuce, tomato, uh, Dijon mayonnaise. Not mustard. Let's just put that together. Is that Dijon salad. Dijon mayonnaise? Yeah. It's Dijon balsamic okay. mayonnaise is what it says exactly. Crab is expensive. It is. Oh, it's sixteen ninety five for this. That's that's not too bad for a crab cake. First bite. Amazing. Taste the crab meat. Taste the mayonnaise, the balsamic mayonnaise. I didn't think you'd be able to taste the mayonnaise much. It didn't look like there's a lot on there, but I could. Bun, nice, fresh, warm, everything's hot. That's, that's decent. I mean, four ounces might not seem a lot, but it's crab meat. It's big enough for me for lunch. I'm happy with it. There's one more for you. There's tomato. I think the brioche bun is it. Great choice to go with the crab cake. I'm glad I got that. Potato salad. Potatoes are cut kind of small, not real chunky. I like that. It's not real big, you guys can see. And you could get potato salad, coleslaw, or chips, but they weren't homemade chips. So. Look, we asked. We would have got them. If they were homemade chips, we would have got them. That's excellent. You can tell it's fresh. Got just a little bit of sweetness to it. The paprika on there would be better than the potato chips. We're going to get to eating this. Our candle's burning it does. down. Oh, that, great atmosphere. That was a big candle when we came in. It was. Bobby wanted me to try the corned beef. I avoided the sauerkraut like the plague. I really wanted that? you to try the whole sandwich. Being on that rye bread gives it a different flavor. I like that's better than being on just regular bread. Yeah, could you taste the Thousand Island? I don't think I could because I went deep into the meat. I didn't go on top where the sauerkraut was. So you didn't experience a whole ordeal of I a... I probably didn't. 
Reuben sandwich. But the corned beef is excellent. Had to get dessert. Colonial gingerbread with lemon sauce. Now we've had this cake before. I've tried the lemon on it first time. I wasn't crazy about it, so we'll see if I like it with the lemon sauce better this time. You love Bobby, I mean, go for the front so you get some of the lemon sauce spun it around for you. That's a lot of lemon. Look at all that steam. Let me just show everybody if I can zoom it. Steam pouring. It's a really moist cake. But I still like just the gingerbread cake by itself. I'm not a fan of the lemon. I'm going to try because I remember last time I loved the lemon on there. Lemon sauce. That lemon's strong. That's what I like about it. Lemon is strong. It almost overpowers the gingerbread. But I like it. It's definitely warm. That's a good dessert. We I had to think the last time I was here I had the Sunday. Yeah. You had the Sunday and I got the yeah. gingerbread cake. But if you're eating down here in the cellar in this historic building, go for this. Bobby's coat, 275. 725 for the onion soup. Reuben 14. Crab 16.95. 495 for the gingerbread for a grand total of 4865. Have a natural spring back through here. Let's take a look. Original spring. see down in there. There it is. Now the reason he built the house over top of this spring because make sure he could have water in the event of an Indian attack. I have a museum upstairs. It's a fireplace. Now, I'm in the regular Doblin House restaurant and home. It says Slave Hideout up here. This was an underground railroad. There's a free museum upstairs. Oh, plenty of seating up here, too. locked I just look tell the place is old look at those boards a lot of history here guys let's walk in to the home see the dining area they're not open yet. I think we can get back in here. Wow, look at this. This is nice. Bobby and I are gonna have to come here and eat just to experience this. Bookcase. You can take a tour of this place. I think it's on Sundays. You need to do that again. We did it a long time ago. They didn't show you in the kitchen. At least they used to. I don't know if they still do. Another fireplace. And this is 
So nice. There's a nice table. That's neat. the side of the house with the plaques National Registry of Historic Places a lot of history there's your historic Gettysburg plaque I love the experience in there. When you walk down those steps and you enter into that room, it's a different period of time. The waitresses were dressed in colonial time and we got to eat by candlelight, which That's was really nice. Cool. It's dark in there. The candlelight gave a nice vibe. It did, it? and I think maybe that's why some of the stuff's a little more expensive, but you're paying for that atmosphere and it's worth yeah. it. The experience, yes. Mm -hmm. and. It's cool down there. Now, luckily, I brought a sweater because it is. I think it's not like in a cellar. Yeah, it's a cellar it they is, dug out when they it were is redoing chilly the house. Down there, which would be nice to eat in the summertime. Um, I got the open face Reuben sandwich. That was excellent. I mean, there was so much corned beef on that. I couldn't finish it all. I brought a box because I wanted to save room for dessert. Now we got the French onion soup. We weren't sure about getting it because we've had it at other places and we're not big fans of it. But this was excellent, wasn't it? It was. I've never had it. I think it was that broth with the meat in it. A lot that of meat. The cheese was so thick. And it was like two different cheeses, yeah. a little yeah, bit yeah, of provolone onion bread. So I'm glad we did get it. Yeah, because we were a little nervous about it. But it's their specialty. We hate going places and not getting their specialty. Yeah, My sandwich was a four ounce crab cake sandwich it was plenty that's all i needed fresh brioche bun with the mayonnaise and the lettuce and tomato it was fresh great potato salad i thought it was homemade when i asked them about it they said no they get that in so it's pretty close to tasting homemade whoever does it does a great job the on the potatoes is made, yeah. coleslaw is made there and it, i tasted it i liked it mm -hmm. tasted good. every everything about this place was good now we got the gingerbread cake with the lemon on it like i said we've had that before the cake is delicious. It's moist. I'm not a fan of the lemon. Lemon strong. Very strong flavor. But and I it, like it. And it's hot. Um, so I ate around the lemon. And I ate the lemon. Our waitress, Barbara, she did a great job. Now you see the buses coming in. Yep. When we got here, we got right in. I heard someone say there's a 50 minute wait to eat down in the tavern park. And next time we come, we're going to eat in the regular. I'll try it. Cause I walked around and showed you guys that. Hope you enjoyed that. It looks pretty. It's got a, a different menu yes. than what we had downstairs. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. building.